I'm here at the UK Games Expo with Gil Hope. We're taking a look at networks. Hi Gil. Hey, how's it going, Ricky? Good, good. So you've come over from the States to talk about the networks have, and show yes. us your game. This yes. was on Kickstarter, I believe? This was on Kickstarter back in September. Okay. Uh, we had a really good campaign. We raised over $100,000 uh, from over 27,000 backers. So it went better than I could have ever oh, hoped for and imagined. Really happy. And it's been highly anticipated. I've been yes. looking at this. How long has this been in development? A long time. I mean, it's kind of like a weird thing to say, I've been working on this for X years, because that doesn't necessarily guarantee it's going to be a good game, you know? So it could just mean somebody's just been working on it alone in their bed, and that just never comes out right. But yes, this has been quite a few years that I've been working on this, but uh, it's only been in like in the past three years that it really gelled into something amazing. So I'm really happy with what it's turned into. Excellent. So you've got lots here on sale in the UK Games Expo, but do you have distribution in UK and Europe for the I, game? I will in, in August. Okay. Uh, so the game will be available in stores in August. Okay, and in the States? Uh, same August as well. Okay, yes. excellent, yes. excellent. So would you like to tell us a little bit about the game sure. and how it's played? Yeah, so in the game you are all TV network executives. You are uh, starting the game with a little bit of money and three terrible shows, and you solely spend the game improving your shows uh, getting more viewers and the player with the most viewers after five seasons wins. Right, okay. Excellent. And what's the player count? It's one to five players, so okay. there's a really good solo mode, uh, but it plays up to five and it scales really well. Like all those player counts play really well. Excellent. And that's one thing I'm really happy about with this. And game. who's done your artwork? Is, uh... So the graphic design is Heiko Gunther, uh -huh. who's also done graphic design for Tesla vs. Edison, okay. The New Science, uh, The Glory to Rome Black Box, uh, and the actual illustrations was uh, by an artist named Travis Kinchy. And I believe this was his first board game. Okay, oh, wonderful. Okay, so uh, what's going on is you have these shows over here. There's only a couple of shows here. And we're buying uh, the science fiction show, Chainmail Bikini Warrior. Uh, so Chainmail Bikini Warrior has, can't really see it from here, but at the outer left it says 10 p.m. That means it's best on at 10 in the at, at 10 o'clock. So we're putting it on at the 10 p.m. time slot because everybody is an 8 p.m., a 9 p.m., and a 10 p.m. time slot. And the show that's canceled gets put into reruns on the other side. Yep. And you have to turn them over like that. Yeah, you want to, th that, that lets you count. So now you can see you're getting two viewers from your reruns, one and one. Okay? Now, uh, if you go back to Chainmail Bikini Warrior, you notice at the bottom of the card there's a little star icon, and that means you must have a star on the show when you put it on. Now, when you start the game, you have a star and an ad in your green room. So, uh, what this player has done is he's put his starting star on Chainmail Bikini Warrior, uh, and now there's a 10 next to that black cube, and that indicates that if the show's on its proper time slot, it's going to get 10 viewers. Um, if it was on at any other time, it would get only 8 viewers. The star gets an additional viewer, and the rerun that, uh, that he just cancelled gets an additional viewer. So that's um, 12 viewers that the show's going to get. It's pretty good. But at the end of the season, when the show scores, after it scores, the show's going to age, which means the black cube goes down one row. So it's going to have a better second season, but you'll see in the third season, it gets really bad. So, uh, so that's sort of the thing about the game is you're constantly uh, canceling your shows, Developing making way for, yeah, program. And, exactly, yes. and making okay. better and better shows. Yes. Okay. So how do you how do you obtain these new shows? Where are they coming from? They're, they come out of the deck, and at the start of each season, you got a certain number of shows with three players. It's five shows at the start of each season. Um, but you see, once a card gets taken, it's gone and doesn't get replenished until next season. So as the season goes on, there's fewer and fewer things uh, available. So at some point, you might say, okay, well, that's it. It'll drop out. So in the first season, the first player to drop out will get $7 million. The next player to drop out gets up oh, just like this, just like that. So, uh, so green over there is getting $7 million. But now green is done. Green season is over. Everybody else keeps on playing. Uh, when there's only one player left, that player does as much as they want and can afford, and then they take the final spot. Now that 765, that's only for the first season. You actually flip the board over, uh, so from season two on, it gets less forgiving. First player out gets $10 million or five viewers. Second player gets um, $6 million or three viewers. And the last player only gets $2 million, not right. much at all. So, okay. Okay. so yeah, that is... Uh, so any, any tips for the uh, strategists on how to win at this game? Uh, you need to pay attention to your uh, time. 
uh, under your time slots. You need to pay attention to your shows, and you need to make sure that uh, you're planning ahead. You never want a show to drop to its last season because that's just going to be terrible. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. We're going to do a fist bump. Okay. Good man. Cheers, man. Great. Thanks so much. Rick.